Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to configure an HT password identity provider in OpenShift 4. I have logged into my OpenShift cluster. So after installation, you will have only the cube admin user. So now we are going to see how we can configure HT password as an identity provider. The first step for configuring the HT password is we are going to use the HT password utility to create a file which will have the user and the hashed password. So minus C option is for creating the file and then minus B is for forcing to encrypt the password and will give the name of the password file. You can give any name. So I am going to give us HT password users dot ht password and then the username so i am going to create two users one is bob so it is going to ask me the password retype the password so now we have added the user bob so let's add one more user So now no need to provide the minus C option. If you provide minus C option, it is going to override this file. Let's provide the password for Alice. Retype the password. So now we have created a file which has two users, Bob and Alice, with the encrypted password. So now we have to create a secret file with this password file. So let's create a secret OC create secret. So generic secret. Let's give the name ht pass hyphen secret. You can give any name and we are going to use the ht password file we created some time back. password and then we'll give the file name which is users dot ht password and this has to be created in the open shift config namespace so the so secret ht pass secret has been successfully created in the open shift config namespace so now following this we need to create a custom resource now let us create the custom resource. We will call it as ht as hyphen cr.yaml. So api version config dot open shift to io slash v1 and the kind it is a custom resource the kind is work and metadata. We are just going to give the name cluster the spec. So we are going to add the identity provider details. Identity providers cluster can have multiple identity providers. So we are just going to specify the first identity provider. We are going to give the name as ht password and what is the mapping method claim and what is the type Type is ht password and then we are going to specify the secret name ht password 
and then we are going to specify the file data and the name is ht pass hyphen secret so this is the secret we create and we have saved the cr file so now let's apply to c apply minus f so we have configured the oauth resource now let us go back to the ui console let's move to the administrator page first let's see whether the secret has been created properly go to the workloads secrets we have created a secret in open shift config project so that we can see the secret has been successfully created seven minutes ago so now let's check the whether the authentication pods have picked up the changes so we need to check in the OpenShift authentication project so we could see these two pods are running let's review them so it says it has been created a minute ago so it means it has picked up the latest changes so now first let's try and log in oc login minus u let's try login as bob able to successfully log in as bob so it says i have logged in as bob now let us log in as alice in the console log out so now while logging in it provides additional option because we have configured HTTP password as identity provider so click that So now we can log in as Alice. So now we have logged in as Alice. And now we don't see that warning message. So as part of this demo, we have seen how to configure HT password as an identity provider in OpenShift 4. Thanks for watching the demo.